So you want to learn how to create this shockwave portal effect for your next music video? Well, stick around because I'm about to break it down step by step like I always do. This effect is actually pretty easy to make. You can also create it without any paid plugins, even though I'll be using some just to spice it up a little bit. But let's hop right into After Effects. Oh wait, I forgot to mention that I just dropped two new packs that will help you create these kind of brain rot effects that has been going really viral with music videos such as Che, Pretty Fun and all of those upcoming artists. So if you want to create effects like that, check out my two new packs. And I'm also running a huge buy one get one free sale for the launch of these packs. So if you buy one of these packs, you can grab any other pack from the store for completely free. And this sale is not lasting for long, so make sure to go and check it out before it ends. But let's get right into the video. So I'm in After Effects right now, and I got this clip right here. And I want the portal to come in like right around here. And I don't want my subject in this scene for the first couple of frames right here. So what I'll do is start masking out my subject by grabbing the rotor brush tool and just mask him out just like this. When you've done that, you should have something like this, which is exactly what we want. Now what I'll do next is press this invert foreground slash background and our subject is basically gone. So I'll go to the part where I want my subject to come back in, like right around here. And I'll cut the clip right there and then I can press this invert once again. So now we'll create a content aware fill on this part right here. So we'll set the workspace to this scene just like that. And then we can open up the Content Aware Fill tab right here. If you can't find it, just open up Window and go to Content Aware Fill. And to create the Content Aware Fill, I'll be keeping my settings like this. I never change them. I basically use these settings all the time. So basically just copy them and press the Generate Fill Layer button. If you can't see the Generate Fill Layer button, you just got to drag up this right here. And let's just press it and let it load for a couple of seconds. And now after getting our content aware fill in the scene, we have something that looks like this. You can clearly see that it's a content aware fill, but it's still enough for me to work with. Now what I'll do is import a shockwave overlay, which you can find easily on footage crate. They have some free ones on here. And this is basically where I grabbed it. You just gotta create an account and then you can grab some of these for completely free. So I'll import my overlay just like this, and then I'll speed it up to like 50%. So it's pretty sped up because my clip is really short. And then I'll size it up a little bit to something like this. Let's do 150. And I'll duplicate my subject layer right here. So I'll have a subject and a background layer. Just like that. And I'll actually name my layers like you just fill and background one, background two. I'll name this one portal and this one subject just so i can keep track of them and what i'll do now is actually drag out my subject layer like right around here so i can have my subject come in here and i want my subject to be on top of my portal so i'll put the subject to the top and i can size up my portal a little bit like this and now to create that look of my subject coming through the portal i'll add some effects on and first off i'll add on a hls color balance to my overlay just to spice it up a little bit if you want to change the colors you can just drag it around like this but i'll drag up the saturation let's do something like this and now i'll add on a refined soft matte effect to my subject just to make my mask a little bit smoother around the edges so you can turn down the additional edge radius to three and i'll turn up the feather to like five or six something like this and then i'll add on a crates light wrap effect uh, this is also a free plugin from uh, Production Crate. I'll try to leave it linked in the description if I remember to do it. Now basically what you got to do with this one is change your background layer to your portal. And then just drag down the wrap width. And you can drag up the background blur a little bit and drag up the exposure. Now basically what this does is when it comes like light from the overlay, it will shine onto my subject as you can see. So you just gotta mess with your settings and get something that looks good. But I recommend that you keep your exposure pretty high and you can also mess with the saturation as well. So you can see now we get some color and that's just to make it a little bit more realistic. And now I'll try to get my subject to like pop out of the portal as realistic as I can. And to do that, I'll add on a Displacer Pro effect, which is also a free plugin. So you can basically just go and grab it for completely free. You just gotta search up Displacer Pro. And I'll drag up the Translate X to 175. And now you can see our subject is completely gone, except for like these parts right here. And to get rid of these, I'll mess with the rotation. So I'll just rotate it to like 1 and 170, just like this. So now our subject is completely gone. And now we'll keyframe the rotation and the translate X. And then we can go in like, let's do like five frames right here. And let's turn both of these back to zero. That way we can have our subject come back in. And now it looks like this, which doesn't look good. So what we will do is change the map layer to our portal. 
just like this so now except for the legs right there it looks like our subject is like morphing back into the scene which is basically what we want and to get rid of the legs i'll basically just pass them out later now i'll add on a distort chrome effect this is a plugin from sapphire and you don't actually need this i just want to spice it up a little bit i'll add this onto my subject layer once again i'll change the mat from layer to my portal just like this and you can change the source to effects and masks and for the settings i'll keep my amount pretty high let's do two but i'll keep the blur lens at 96 and then i'll go to the same part where i ended my displacer pro and turn the distort chroma back to zero and now to get not to make this smooth i'll select all of my keyframes and easy ease them pressing f9 and then i can open up the graph editor and on the value graph if your graph doesn't look like this you just gotta head up to value graph right here I'll create something that looks like this. I want it to be really fast. I want my subject to come out of that portal pretty fast. So I'll do my graph just like this for all of the effects. Just try to copy this graph as good as you can. So if you play through and you feel like it's too fast for you, you just simply got to drag out your keyframes a little bit like this and just readjust your graph to the same thing. And now to get rid of his legs right here because we don't want his legs to be in the frame, all I got to do is just select this ellipse tool right here and I'll create a mask around my subject. Make sure that you have selected your subject layer and you just got to create a mask like this. And then we'll just readjust it to the portal and just like that we have his legs out of the scene. Now I'll basically just keyframe the mask path and when his legs are supposed to come in I'll just move the mask path down. So you can tell right here he's starting to come back into the frame. So like right around here, we can have the mask path go down just like this. But now as you can see on this frame right here, his legs are completely back because of the background layer. So if you want to have like an extra frame of the content to work fill, all you got to do is just cut the content to work fill right there, duplicate it, and just drag it back like this. So now I got something like this where it kind of looks like my subject is morphing out of the portal and with a couple of flashes, couple of shakes will make it look as realistic as possible. But now I'll basically add on an adjustment layer just to spice it up a little bit. And this is not needed, of course, this is just what I prefer. So if you have any effects you prefer, now is the time to add them on. I'll go for a Sapphire hotspot. Right away it looks like this, which is not what I want. So I'll turn down the threshold to zero. And right here where my subject comes in, I want to keep from the threshold and go to the end of the frame right around here. And I'll turn up the threshold to something like this. So you can build up throughout the scene. And if I play it through, it will look like this. Now it's not as easy to tell that I've just smacked a overlay onto the scene because the effect is morphed into like the overlay and the background. Oh yeah, I completely forgot to mention that if you want to have it a little bit more realistic, you can add on a curve onto your overlay layer and this portal and just tweak the settings a little bit you can just tweak the brightness and everything in the portal tweak the colors and now i'll add on another adjustment layer once again but to this one i'll add on a rsmb effect which is also a plugin and this is basically just an extra motion blur uh, to make it look a little bit smoother when my subject comes in or it will make the whole clip smoother but especially when the subject comes in right here so with this extra motion blur it looks like this one thing that will also help is if you turn on motion blur and now it looks like this and this is cool i'm a big fan of this now what i'll do is simply just pre-compose all of my layers move all attributes into new composition i'll add on a shake and a zoom as well as like a flash or something like that so this time i'll open up animation presets go under user presets and here i have the ultimate shake pack which is my own pack with all of my shakes that you can find linked to the description if you want to grab a couple of crazy shakes like i got some simple ones a couple trippy ones but they do require sapphire so be aware of that before you buy and i'll add on this subtle shake two straight onto my layer and just like that i have a smooth shake that that took me like two seconds to add on and if i want to have a flash as well i gotta create an adjustment layer for that i'm not sure if i want a flash because this shake already has a flash right here so i think i'm pretty happy with that to be honest but that but that's pretty much it that's the effect how you create it and how you spice it up with just a few effects if you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And you also gotta check out my store link to the description. I got editing packs and assets for basically everyone. And like I said, if you're watching this early, the buy one get one free seven might still be active. So go and check it out. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.